Hello friends, in this video, I am going to show you practically step by step process of installation and configuration of IPC CTV camera system by using a POE switch. Let me show you my network diagram and physical connectivity. I already have an internet router from my ISP provider and I will connect this with my POE switch via LAN cable. Then I connect my all other devices to this POE switch. Like I will connect my Hikuian IP cameras to this POE switch via CAT6 LAN cable. I am using one indoor dome camera and two outdoor bullet camera in this video. Next I connect the IP NVR in the network via LAN cable. Also I connect a wireless access point to same POE switch to increase the range of my wireless signal. So this is the network diagram and let's go back to our physical devices to do some physical connectivity. To do the physical connectivity, I'm going to use couple of CAT6 network cable or patch cords. Here is my home router. It's 5G device and DHCP enable in it by default. As per our network diagram, I'm going to use this CAT6 network cable and I connect one end to LAN port of my home router and second end I connect to my POE switch. Let's connect it to port 24 on the POE switch. Now I take another network cable and this time I connect one end to Hikuian indoor dome camera and other end into the POE switch. Let's use port number 1 this time. Let's connect a second camera in the same manner. I take another CAT6 network cable and one end connect to Hikuian outdoor bullet camera and the other end into the POE switch. Let's use port number 2 this time. Same step I will do for third camera. I connect one end of network cable to Hikuian outdoor bullet camera side and the other end into the POE switch. This time I connect on port 3. So we connect our all three cameras to POE switch successfully. And now it's time to connect the NVR. This is the Hikuian NVR and the model number is 7608. And here you can see on the back side of the NVR there is only one LAN port that we are going to connect with our POE switch. So I am going to connect one end of network cable here and the second end will go to POE switch. And this time I connect on port 7. Now again we go to our NVR and here you can see HDMI and VGA port. These ports will use to connect the display monitor. I connect one end of HDMI cable here and second end of the HDMI cable I connect on HDMI port of display monitor. Now at the end this is my Linksys access point and I need to connect this also to my POE switch to increase the range of my wireless signal. I use another LAN cable one end connect to my access point and second end I connect with my POE switch. This time I use port 10. Now the physical connectivity is completed and it's time to power on the devices. As you see I power on my devices and it will take couple of minutes to boot up properly. And here you can see my IP camera get power from POE switch and they power on now. Now to configure these IP cameras and NVR we need to connect our laptop or desktop PC to same POE switch. I take another CAT6 cable and one end I connect to my laptop LAN card. And second end I connect to my POE switch. Now the physical connectivity is done and it's time to configure our camera and NVR. To do the configuration, let me take you on my laptop screen and I will show you step by step process to configure CCTV IP camera and NVR with the help of SADP tool. Search Active Device Protocol 
or SADP is free tool by Hikuian and commonly used for searching Hikuian products like IP cameras, NVR or DVR in our network. For you to download this tool, I put the link in my video description. The first step to configure these CCTV cameras and NVR, we need to know their IP address. To find the IP addresses of these devices, we need this SIDP tool. And here you can see, I already downloaded and installed in my PC. I am going to click on it. And here is it. Here you can see all your Hikuian devices along with their model number, IP addresses, MAC addresses and many other information. This tool will make your life very easy while IP camera installation with NVR. So here you can see I have 4 Hikuian devices in my network. Here is our NVR. We can see the model number 7608 here and he get the IP address 192.168.1.5 automatically. Now I am going to open my web browser and I am going to type our NVR IP address that is 192.168.1.5 and press enter. This will open our NVR login page. By default the Hikuian NVR username is admin and the password is 125. This is not a brand new NVR or IP cameras and I get this in used condition from online store. So I already reset the password of this NVR and IP cameras. In next video I will show you how you can reset your NVR and Hikuian IP camera password. Here I type username admin and my new password. Then I click on login. And here you can see we successfully log in to our NVR. Now we need to add our IP cameras into this NVR. For that I go to configuration and click on it. Then I go to camera management and click on it. And then click on IP camera. As I told before this is not a brand new NVR and the old camera configuration still there. Now to add our IP cameras into this NVR, we need to modify this configuration. But for that, first we need to know the IP address of our camera. So to know our camera IP addresses, we go back to SADP tool and here we can see our three IP cameras details with their IP addresses. So the IP address of my this camera is 192.168.1.30 I go back to our Hikwil NVR again and then select this first channel D1 then I click on modify and here we change the IP address I type my camera IP address here that is 192.168.1.30 and then we need to type the IP camera password here Same password again for verification. If you forget your IP CCTV camera password, you can reset it by SADP tool also or by push button on the camera. I will show this process in next video. Before clicking on OK, make sure adding method must be manual and then click on OK. As you click on OK, you can see the IP address change here. But the status is still offline and by just refresh this page from here you can see our camera status is online now. To see the view of this online camera we need to go to live view and click on it and then click on start all live view. And here it will show us the display of our online camera. This is my dome camera display. Let me configure my other remaining two outdoor cameras. To do that, we need to repeat the same process and will add our two remaining camera also. For that, we need to go back to our SADP tool and note the IP addresses of remaining two cameras. That is 192.168.1.6 and 192.168.1.2. Now to add these two camera, I will go back to my NVR 
and then click on configuration then camera management and in IP camera I will select the channel 2 like D2 and click on modify and here I will type camera IP address that is 192.168.1.6 and then here I need to type the password of this camera and second time again same password and then click on OK. As soon as I click on OK, the IP address is changed. Now I am going to add my third camera. I click channel 3, D3, click on modify and here I will type the IP address of my third camera that is 192.168.1.2 and I will type the password here twice. and then click on OK. Now the IP address is changed for both camera. By just refreshing this page, here you can see our all three cameras are online now. To see the view of these three camera, I click on live view and then click on down here, start all live view. And here you can see the display of our all three cameras. This is my couple of UTP cable that I used to connect. And this is my camera stand here. You can see. Now I will take you back to my home lab. And here you can see my home lab setup. Our three CCTV cameras are configured and working with NVR via POE switch. So in this video we learn CCTV camera complete installation with NVR. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.